The engineering of SpaceX Starship and BFR Big Falcon rocket is as magnificent as the Starship itself. The Starship is a proposed and reusable two-stage-to-orbit system that is in the process of development by SpaceX. In 2005, Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, used the code term BFR for the heavy lift vehicle designed to provide an interplanetary transport system. Later, SpaceX changed the name to the Starship System, or Starship. Before we discuss the recent insane engineering of the SpaceX Starship, let's discuss its development history. In 2012, SpaceX started engine development known as BFR at that time. Afterward, in 2016, Starship development began. SpaceX Starship is a two-stage vehicle. In 2019, the second stage of Starship development started, and testing began to prove the design details for the Starship's atmosphere re-entry. For testing Stage 2, a Starhopper prototype was used, which made low-altitude and low-velocity flights of vertical launch and landing. After that, testing of SN5 and SN6 began, but both performed low-altitude flights. For the first time in December 2020, SN8 showed its first high-altitude test flight, but the prototype exploded at the time of landing. The SpaceX Starship system comprises two stages, a booster stage called Super Heavy and a second stage called Starship. Both these stages are collectively named Starship. Super Heavy is the first stage of SpaceX Starship, having 236 feet length and 30 feet diameter with a lifting mass of 3,680,000 kilograms. In 2019 to 2020, Super Heavy's external design changed many times to make high power level Raptor engines. In 2019, Elon Musk presented a new design. It included six fins as fairings to assist six landing legs. Moreover, that design had four steel grid fins, diamond-shaped, for aerodynamic aid during landing. Afterward, Elon Musk said that Super Heavy will use only four fins and landing legs to improve supersonic engine recirculation margins. Stainless steel tanks and structures are the construction materials, including cooled liquid methane and oxygen propellants. Around 28 Raptor rocket engines are present, which provide a thrust force of 72,000 kilonewtons. With that said, the initial prototype of Super Heavy will fly with only 20 engines out of 28. At the end of 2020, Musk predicted using a landing tower arm to land the booster by grid fins. In December 2020, at Boca Chica, people saw the prototype of the first booster. Musk stated that, I am hoping for the first orbit flights in 2021. The designed Starship stage will perform two functions. One, the second stage function to reach orbital velocity for escaping from Earth. Two, as an on-orbit, long-duration spacecraft in outer orbit. The design of Starship is to make it capable of re-entering Earth from orbital velocity and landing vertically, reusing to reduce cost for reimbursement. The upper stage of the Starship is 30 feet in diameter and 160 feet in length. It is a reusable spacecraft with a power supply of six engines. Its pressurized volume is 29,100 cubic feet configured up to 40 cabins. The propellant system will be Raptor engines holding methane slash oxygen. The Starship will use three level Raptor engines and three vacuum Raptor engines. For space transportation, Starship with a thrust of 11,500 kilonewtons will use vacuum optimized engines. Starship will have three operational variants. Spaceship for interplanetary transport, satellite delivery spacecraft to place spacecraft into orbit, tanker to refill propellant in Earth orbit. In January 2019, stainless steel was used in place of carbon fibers to construct Starship. Reason behind using stainless steel, cost-effective, high strength, ease of production. The insane engineering of SpaceX Starship and BFR depicts that this in-development Starship will be able to replace the Falcon 9 and Dragon 2 fleet by taking cargo to orbit at a lower cost. Starship utilizes advanced engineering design for spaceflight due to low cost and fully reusable spacecraft. Its massive uses include satellite delivery in the Earth orbit, long-duration outer orbit spaceflights, and Mars transportation.